Today, I've got a quick video on what I think is one of the more useful and also more underutilized features to hit the iPhone in a while. Lock screen widgets came out over a year ago, and they're both very simple and also very practical, but I don't see many people using them. Let me know down in the comments if you've been using them regularly, but when I've looked at friends, family, or anyone else's phones that I can take a glance at, I'm really rarely seeing these in practice today. The concept is super simple. You have at a glance information to a readily used app or a quick link into that app so that you can jump there straight from your lock screen. If you have one of the more recent iPhones that has an always on display, it's even better because you have that available without even touching your phone, but it'll really benefit you regardless of what model you have. The only drawback is that you are limited to whatever developers have created, which means that the number of options for widgets is slim but I'm gonna take you through what I think are the five most useful lock screen widgets available today. First is really the ultimate. My absolute favorite lock screen widget is the weather app. Now, if you've been using a third party weather app, it might be time to revisit just plain old Apple weather. It's come a really long way. And at this point, I think it's the best weather app out there, at least of the ones that are free. Now, the widget for the weather app is also super useful. You get temperatures at a glance whenever you need it. It'll dynamically change to show when there's rain coming or some other type of storm or event to know about. And a quick tap, just like all of these widgets, takes you straight into the app to get more information. So this is one I look at all the time and it's perfect to know whether you need to get a jacket or an umbrella before you leave. My second favorite widget is a calendar app. Now, this could be the Apple Calendar or Google Calendar. Those are my two personal favorites. And this is super useful. See your upcoming meetings, see what you've got going on, and jump straight into the app to get more information. Only drawback is that, unfortunately, at this time, there is no widget available for the Outlook app. So sorry, corporate friends, you don't have an option right now. Third, we have Maps. Google Maps is my personal favorite, and they have a really handy feature. It lets you pre-program a destination and it'll automatically tell you how long it'll take to get there, whether that's your home, the office, or some other place. This can be really useful if you're at the office and need to know when you have to leave in order to make it home for an evening event. It could also be useful in the morning if you wanna know how your commute's looking and when you need to leave in order to make it in for your first meeting. You know, the same meeting that's on your calendar widget. Fourth, we have travel apps. For me, that's American Airlines unfortunately, because I live in Charlotte, don't really have another choice, but they can be useful to show when your next flight is and what time that flight's at so that you're always prepared for when you need to leave. If you're a frequent traveler, like a traveling consultant or something like that, this can be really useful to just always have tabs on the next flight coming up. Finally, with the fifth spot, I have two pre-installed apps and a bit of a two for one. Now this is clock and batteries, and these are both very small, but super useful. And so I wanted to shout both of them out. Clock is great because it'll show you when your next alarm is set and you can see, hey, did I remember to set my morning alarm? And if so, what time it's set for? And batteries is useful because you can see either the state of charge for your phone or state of charge for some AirPods or other compatible headphones. Both super useful, just very small. So if you wanna get lock screen widgets on your phone, it's really simple. Here's how you do it. First, open the lock screen, press and hold down until you get the edit page, then hit customize, then lock screen, and finally tap the rectangle just under the time. You'll see all the widgets available for your currently installed apps. Now, while you're on that screen, here's two free bonus tips for you. Number one is you can actually tap on the date or on the time and customize those a little bit. The time in particular is cool because you can change the font, the color, make them bigger, smaller, make it really fit the theme you're going for on your lock screen. The other one is that you can have multiple lock screens available for you, and this includes widgets. So if you have a really work-focused widget setup, maybe with your calendar and that commute to work, you could have that set up during the day, and in the evening or on the weekends, you could swap over to one that doesn't have those work distractions, or that just gives you more access to your personal email account or your personal calendar. So having that flexibility to change from one to the other can be really powerful, and can help limit those distractions when you're not focused on work or when you need to focus on work. So appreciate your time watching this video. Let me know down in the description, what lock screen widgets do you like the best out of either the ones I covered here or maybe one that I missed. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.